Hola guys, no grocery haul today before this cooking video because I honestly didn't trust myself to go to the grocery store. Uh, more to come on that. Let's just say everything I touched today broke um, or fell apart. Um, so I came home and decided to make some comfort food. Now this may not be for everyone if you are turned off by ofal of any kind, ofal, ofal, innards, you know, the parts most people throw away. This is not the video for you. But today I am making uh, stewed chicken hearts served over rice, um, corazones guisados, uh, and arroz. So here we go. This is what my grandma used to call uh, comida del campo, like uh, camp food. They used to be migrant workers. And when they set up to cook wherever they were staying, they ate whatever would stretch, whatever was cheapest, because it was all of them. It was my grandma, my grandpa, my mom, all of my aunts and uncles. It was the whole family uh, in the summers going out and doing migrant work. Uh, sometimes even during school time, uh, they were doing migrant work. That's how they survived. Uh, so this is Comida del Campo, and my grandma uh, is the one who got me eating chicken hearts, and I really, really like them. So like I said, if it's if it's not to your taste, please turn away. No negative comments. Not that I have gotten any, hardly any negative comments on this channel, but you never know. There's always a troll or two that wants to say something nasty. I've come across a few. Not on food videos so much as my thrifting ones, uh, and I nip them in the bud. But that's a whole nother video but anywho here we go this is what you need very simple um chicken hearts i've already washed uh and rinsed and trimmed them i put a little vinegar in the water as i wash them just to be sure there's no nasties in there um rice oil tortillas uh, tomato onion garlic Lemon. I use both the cubitos of chicken and chicken with tomato. Uh, you can use the loose powder, which I think I'm going to start doing just because it's easier to work with than this one having to break it apart. Uh, but I use one of each uh, and some comino. Now, this is for the salsa. I boil my chiles in here. Oh, hello, chiles. Forgot about my chiles. I'm gonna use three guajillos and one chile California, um, along with this goodness, boiled in this goodness, sprinkled with this goodness. Uh, I'm gonna make the sauce that I'm going to cook these in. I'm going to serve it over rice and douse with a little lemon juice and eat with some warmed up corn tortillas. So that's everything. Let's get to cooking. Okay, back here I have my cubitos, my little cubes, my little bouillon cubes uh, boiling. Um, four cups of water to two cubes. Uh, probably should have used a bigger pot, but this is when I'm gonna boil my tomato so I can peel it and my chiles in. You can do water, but since I'm gonna use the flavored um, stock anyway for the salsita, I just decided to boil in here. You can do it either way, however you want. So I got that going. Over here, I have my rice, cup of rice, two cups of water that I'm just going to steam for the goodies. Now let's get to these chicken hearts. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is take the seeds out of our chili toes. Um, these aren't really spicy, the guajillo or the California, they're not really spicy, but I don't wanna take no chances especially after the day I've had. So that one didn't have a lot of seeds. I was actually split open a little. Take off the nib, slice them open. You're gonna rehydrate these. And for those of you who are familiar with working with these chiles, you can find these at the 99 cent only. That's where I found them. Um, and if you can smell them through the bag, you're getting a good batch, but let me tell y'all what to do, especially with the dollar store or 99 cent store uh, ones. Okay, you see how it's kind of pliable, kind of like a fruit roll up? Okay, that's what you want. So before you buy the bag, sniff the bag. If you can smell the chiles through the plastic, that's a good sign. 
if you bend it and it cracks, don't buy those. You want them to have a little give to them. If they crack, they're too old. So, maraca, chili maraca. Anywho, I just realized I did my chiles backwards. Oh, goodness. I cut off the tip instead of the colita. Goodness gracious. But anywho, I'm telling you guys, it's been a day. Let me cut off the colita now. Um, yeah, that's just a hint. Um, if they break apart in the bag or crunch in the bag, just get another bag. Don't get those. They're not going to be good. This one was almost cracky, uh, but the rest of them were pretty good. So let me de-seed this last guajillo. Guajillos are nice and smoky and give good flavor. They don't burn a lot. It's just a nice spice, okay? Just a nice spice. And I added California for just a little extra flavor because uh, they do taste a little different. So I did three guajillos and one California. You can do whatever chiles you want. You can do a little spicier with like the chile japonés or whatever. You can roast these and save them for pizza or pasta. But anywho, so that's what they look like, de-seeded. And we are going to dump them into my little pot back here of my boiling consomme. Uh, bouillon. Y'all see my little mandil? Y'all see my little thrifted apron? It's on, y'all. Okay, so now that the bouillon is boiling, I'm gonna drop in my tomato, not really to stew it, just to get the skin off of it faster. So I drop in a tomato. Oh goodness gracious, I should've used a bigger one. Drop in your little chiles. Let me get them in there. Yes, definitely use a bigger pot. So soak them in there, steep them in there, give them about 20 minutes. get this little thing soaked in there and you cook them 15 20 minutes just until they get soft and then we're going to put them in the blender okay next is the onion i have this little piece i'm going to finish off and then start on my big one here um you could blend your onion into your salsa but I like the onion in the hearts. Um, I just like to be able to scoop up some um, onion with the hearts and I'm not particular about it. I cut them just in any old chunk because they're gonna cook down nice and soft and I don't mind an uneven hunk of onion. Uh, I'm gonna do just a little bit more because that's just what makes it good. Probably gonna do just a little nibby of this one. Okay. Um, anywho, I'm gonna slice up my own joan and then we'll get this skillet going. Okay guys, gonna get this skillet ready. Do a little earl, just a little earl to get these little hearts going. Get that nice and hot. And then we're gonna do these onions. All right, my oil is separating in the skillet, so it is ready. When it starts splitting up in there, that means it's ready for the goodness. in our onions. You can do more, you can do less. Like I said, I like the salsita, the little salsa in here. Get the onions all cooked up and delicious. So we're gonna saute these up a little bit before we toss in the hearts. Once again, the hearts have been rinsed twice with a little vinegar in the water. Uh, and then left on this little plate to drain. Um, they are fatty, so I've trimmed any little hangy pieces off, but the fat just makes it good. You can't eat this every day. This does not hurt. Uh, some have a lot of fat or a little grasita on them, 
so it's better to trim those off but it's really good eating guys um don't knock it till you try it is all i'm gonna say it's good food to get you through the hard times my salsita fixings are boiling back there those are almost ready probably another five ten minutes the chiles are kind of soft but i like them really really soft because i don't like to have to um to um use the little colander the little i don't like to have to sieve it if i don't have to um so if you don't cook them down soft enough you end up with like big hunks of um, skin left over that is just not good i mean i'm gonna strain it anyway but um I don't like it when there's like big pieces of uh, skin left. So this is looking good. We're going to dump in our corazones, our hearts. Spanish word of the day, corazón. That means heart. Now we're just going to cook these up in here with it for a while while the salsita continues to cook. The only seasoning I'm adding to this because the bouillon uh, has a lot of salt. It's going to add a lot of flavor. The chiles are going to add some flavor is my tried and true so i just sprinkle the top i don't measure i just sprinkle the top till it's evenly covered toss it and let it go and when my salsita fixings are done and my little hearts have changed color we will proceed i'll see you in a bit okay i found a new perch for you guys and i hope it's not too loud but y'all know i clean i cook and clean as i go so, hope this isn't too annoying for y'all. But anywho, I have a few little dishes to wash. I have had a day, okay? When I tell y'all I have had a day, I am queen clips today. I broke things at Goodwill. I broke things at the garage sale I went to. I broke things at home all day long today. All day long today, everything I have touched has not been safe. I mean, everywhere I went, I broke something. And I got like really sad and stressed out over it. Although everybody was like really cool about it. I'm just like, what the heck? Something's just off. And I grew up with a very, very superstitious mom where if glass was ever broken, she would rush and pick up the broken pieces and put them in water. She'd put them in a sink of water, a bucket of water, the bathtub, wherever, because according to her and the superstition she grew up with, if you didn't put broken glass in water, if anybody was traveling, they were gonna have an accident, something was gonna happen, they were gonna have a crash, okay? So if you knew anybody that was traveling to keep them safe, you better put the glass in water. And for many, many years, I was already a mother and I believed in that. And then I started to think, no, I bet I'm making God laugh. I'm rushing to put broken glass in water instead of praying about anyone I love who is traveling to be safe. It was just kind of crazy. <laughs> So I don't do it anymore, but if my mother or had been with me today, poor thing, she would have probably had a heart attack because she would have been convinced that three broken things in one day is an omen and not for nothing, okay? I do believe in signs, but not superstition. Look at that masa arm, Ugh, tortilla masa arm. Anywho, uh, I believe in signs. I don't believe in superstition anymore as much as I used to. I still don't like the number 13. But uh, yeah, today I was just a super klutz. But I did go thrifting and garage sailing. And um, I'm going to show you that after we eat. But I'm hungry. Let's go check out what's going on back here with the little boom, 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 boom. The little carasones. Okay, guys, I checked the little hearts, and they are doing pretty good. I went ahead and thought I'd better start off on the salsa. I'm going to pull out my mater first, and I'm going to peel off the skin. Okay. I could do it with my hands, but I am not old school like my tias and my mother. I am not sticking my hands on no boiling hot tomato skin. Ain't gonna happen. 
So this is how I do it. I do it with a little pincers. And there is my peel mater. You can do it with just the skin on if you want to, but I'm telling you, it's just hard to get out of habits that I grew up um, watching. So I do it the way my tias did it, my grandma did it. Okay, so here's my little squishy tomat. I'm gonna drop that bad boy in the blender. Okay, we're gonna take our little chiles that are nice and soft now. I'm gonna dump them in the blender. Okay. It's dripping. Ooh! Just add a little cheat there. What is going on behind me? Okay, get my little chiles in there. Now, you can use water if you want to emulsify, to blend. You can use the broth you cooked it in. If you just boiled them in water, you can use that water. But the trick to that, you guys, if you're going to use the water you boiled your chiles in or the broth you cooked your chiles in, taste it. See if it's bitter. Because if it's bitter and you pour it in here without tasting it, you're going to ruin it. So let me taste this. Oh, that is delicious. It is not bitter. It is nice and delicious. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the liquid in there. Yeah, I don't need any salt, guys. Where did my garlic go? There's my, no. Where did my garlic go? Let's pause for the cause. I lost my little garlic. It was a good one, too. Hang on. It was under the blender. Drop a nice big tooth of garlic in there. If it's not salty, to your if you're using water, if you use the water to stew your chiles and tomato, you could probably use a little salt or you can use the dry bouillon. But because I boiled them in the bouillon, the salt is perfect. The taste is perfect. It is delicious. So I'm going to omit the salt and I'm going to blend the heck out of this sucker. So let's give her a go. if it's thick enough if it's the thickness you want and that is really really nice give it a little taste mm -hmm. very tomatoey just enough yum yum now we're gonna pour this I need to think this angle a little better now we're gonna pour this into our corazones Hang on. so here are the hearts Nice and stewed and sautéed, and they dropped all that yummy liquid, all that yummy juice. That's just going to make the salsita even better. Now, you guys, if y'all are not into hearts, y'all can do this with chicken legs, y'all can do this with chicken thighs, y'all can do this with wings. Y'all can do it with any kind of chicken part y'all want. I just happened to want chicken hearts. Whoa, hold on a second. Uh, at this point, check the consistency. I think it's blended enough that I am not going to drain it. So I pour in my salsita. Let me clean this out with just a little bit of the bouillon to get all of the goodness out. Okay, I'm whooshing all that goodness out. Waste not, want not. And here you have your little stew. Now I'm going to cook it with the lid off. And just let it get all yummy and delicious. If you want it a little thicker, you can um, put a little flour in some water. Make a thickener and pour it in here and stir. But I like it soupy because I like it to go down into my rice. And this is actually going to cook down a little bit anyway. So it's going to thicken up just the way Mama likes it. And my little Mahatma's in here, nice and fluffy, ready. So... I'll see y'all when we plate it. Okay, guys, I forgot to put my comino in the salsa when I was blending it, and I know I'm going to taste the difference without it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it directly into the skillet and let it cook down into the sauce. So I let this go about another 15 minutes, and we're going to be ready to plate.
And dinner is served. Just top my little hearts over some white rice. I squeeze some lemon over it. I have my little corn tortillas nice and heated right there. And then to end it all off, I got my pineapple and watermelon. So if y'all try it, I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, for those of you who eat uh, this type of thing but have never tried hearts, let me tell you guys. The bite is like that of a gizzard. It has that little bite to it, but the flavor is like dark meat, uh, like a thigh. More like a thigh than a leg, but the flavor, they're really flavorful. They're really yummy. And uh, if you enjoy a gizzard and you enjoy dark meat, I think you're going to like them. And the pairing of fruit with any chicken dish is awesome. So if y'all try it, I hope y'all like it. And I love y'all bunches and bon appetit, y'all.